Now let us discuss about the capacitance of a concentric shell spherical capacitor. Suppose these two represents two concentric spheres. Concentric spheres means they have a common center, let's say O. And uh, this one is the inside shell and this one is the outside shell. Suppose the radius of the shell, the first shell be the inside shell be A and that one the outside of the radius of the outside shell be B. Suppose this, if I give a positive charge to the outside shell like this, let Q be its magnitude, then clearly by induction the inside shell acquires a negative charge. Clear. So before doing anything, first we need to find the electric field in the different regions. I can divide the three regions into a region, first region inside the shell, inside the interior shell and a region and region between the shells and a region outside the external shell. Suppose if I take a Gaussian surface in the third region like this, you can see that inside this Gaussian surface you have equal magnitude of positive and negative charge. So that the net charge will be net charge will be zero. You can write Q net is equal to zero, which means in the third region the electric field is equal to zero. Clear. And what about the electric field in the third in the first region? In the first region also, if I take a Gaussian surface like this, and if this green green circle represents the Gaussian surface inside the interior shell. You can also see that there is no charge resides inside this Gaussian surface, which means electric field is zero inside the inside this region also. So here electric field equal to zero, here also electric field is zero. So electric field exists only in region between these shells and you can see that the direction of electric field will be from positive to negative. So let us take a Gaussian surface in between these two shells like this. Let R be the radius of the Gaussian surface. And if I take a small area in here, let's call that area as ds. The direction of ds will be away from the center O. But you can see that the electric field is from positive to negative charge. So the direction of electric field is towards O. This is the direction of electric field E. Let, let me write it here. Electric field E is directed towards the point O. So the electric flux through this small area, we have electric flux, let's call the small electric flux D phi will be E dot ds. By the definition of electric flux, we have the dot product of electric field and area gives the flux. Therefore, D phi will be, you know, Clearly you can see that E and DS are opposite in opposite direction. So the theta will be the angle between these two will be 180. E and DS will be 180. So that this will be E DS cos 180 degree. Therefore D phi will be minus E DS because cos 180 equal to minus 1. Let's call that as equation number 1. So in order to get the total flux phi will be, phi is the total flux, will be integral of minus E ds. You know that for a circle, as far as a sphere is concerned, electric field is constant everywhere because electric field is spherically symmetrical. So you can take this minus E outside and integral ds equal, therefore phi is equal to minus E. You know, integral of ds means 
If you integrate this small area, you will get the surface area of this sphere of radius r. So it's it is equal to s integral d s equal to s that is phi is equal to minus e into you know surface area of sphere is 4 pi r square that is phi is equal to minus e into 4 pi r square call that as equation number one now if you use gauss's theorem in here applying gauss's theorem applying Gauss's theorem we have the flux phi is equal to 1 by epsilon 0 the charge q and inside this Gaussian surface we have the magnitude of the charge remains the same so here also the charge is q let's take the magnitude only not the sign so this is equal to let's call this as equation number 2 so phi equal to 1 by epsilon 0 q. If you equate 1 and 2, you can find that e into 4 pi r square is equal to, that is minus e into 4 pi r square equal to 1 by epsilon 0 q and e equal to minus 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 q divided by r square. Let's call that as equation number 3. Now we need to find the potential what is the electric potential in this region for that let me erase this we have the relationship between the electric field and potential we know e is equal to minus dv by dr the derivative of potential with respect to distance gives electric field implies dv equal to minus e dr E equal to dv equal to minus e, e dr. So to get the total potential V, that is the potential potential V, you need to integrate this one minus e dr. And also the variable is r. So you have to integrate it from see the radius of the inner shell is a and that of outer shell is b. So from A to B, this is equal to, you can take this minus outside A to B, you know electric field is equal to minus 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 Q by R square times this dr. Clear. Now you have to integrate this. We have the potential V is equal to minus and minus will get cancelled. So A to B 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 Q. You can write this as R raised to minus 2 dr. Clear. Clearly this Q and 4 pi epsilon 0 is constant. You can take that out. That is Q divided by 4 pi epsilon 0 integral a to b r raised to minus 2 dr. If you integrate this, you will get q by 4 pi epsilon 0. Integral of r raised to minus 2 is equal to r raised to, you can write minus 2 plus 1 by minus 2 plus 1 in, the, in, in between the limits a to b. So this will be V is equal to Q by 4 pi epsilon 0. See, minus 2 plus 1 is minus 1. You can take that minus 1 out of the brackets. And this will be R raised to minus 1. R raised to minus 1. A to B. So this is equal to minus Q divided by 4 pi epsilon 0 r raised to minus 1 is 1 by r a to b. So v equal to q minus q by 4 pi epsilon 0. You have to first write the upper limit that is 1 by b minus 1 by a then the lower limit. So 
so you can again multiply this minus or take this minus into the brackets you will get q divided by 4 by epsilon 0 this thing reverses 1 by a minus 1 by b let's call this as equation number 4 also we can also be written as v is equal to q divided by 4 by epsilon 0 if you cross multiply this it will be b minus a divided by a b let's call this as equation number 5 and you know the capacitance capacitance c by the definition of capacitance c will be charge divided by potential so that's the definition of capacitance charge stored divided by the potential difference so this will be c is equal to q divided by we have v equal to q by 4 pi epsilon 0 b minus a divided by a b you can cancel this q and q and this denominator will go up go to the numerator so the final expression will be you can take this whole term to the numerator so capacitance c will be 4 pi epsilon 0 a b divided by b minus a so this is the expression for the capacitance of a concentric spherical shell capacitor